Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest in what is the traditional territory of the Coast Salish Nations. And this is Vlogmas Day 16. I'm actually sitting in bed. I was about to go to bed, but I realized that I've been meaning to share this with you and it might be a perfect thing to do uh, for day 16 of Vlogmas. Um, I'm gonna talk about my 2020 yearly budget. So y'all see, I do my monthly budget every month in every dollar. This is loosely based on the yearly budget that I set out the year before. And actually, my very first budget before I ever started doing every dollar was with this spreadsheet. I just found this online. Um, I'll drop the link below. And I just adjusted it to meet my needs. Um, <coughs> it was very specific. It had a lot of categories, which might seem like overkill to some people, but it was really informative for me. And then since then, I've really adjusted it to uh, have my specific categories and the way I clump them together. This is just a little different than my every dollar only because my every dollar has evolved since I last updated this. Um, and I just like don't have the bandwidth right now to update this, but I want to show you what I am doing. That's a little bit different this year. Um, so the very first time I ever did this, I felt like I didn't have enough money and whew, I was just trying to like make it work and just kind of trying to like, I was first kind of figuring out how to um, project my expenses for the whole year. And since then, I've gotten a lot better at that. And so there is this interesting new way that I'm using it. It may not be new for any of you, but um, in this budget spreadsheet, I've entered in my income. Here, let me scroll up to income. So this green area right here is income. And I've entered in my base income for my full-time job. So... If I um, don't do anything else, I will probably take home about $3,000 a month. <clears throat> and if I do that, and then I take out all my regular fixed and like basic uh, variable expenses, then at the end, if I go up here, this is a really cool part. So it's like income, expenses, and then what you net, and then your projected end balance. And this will um, add up throughout the whole year. So at... 3,000 take home per month or $36,000. I will have 43, uh, almost $4,400 left to work with. Now that's cool, um, but I went ahead and made another sheet where I put in my projected income, including my adjunct pay, right? Which I always include in my every dollar. And at the end of the year, I'm going to have a take home of almost 45,000 and I'm gonna have $13,000 to work with. Now, this is a, this is like, as you know, a rough estimate of what I'll make adjuncting. Um, but this number, $13,000, this is great because instead of just having like a couple hundred dollars here, maybe a thousand dollars one month to work with, I can project out and see like, what is it that I'm gonna net for the whole, year and what can I do with that so this is what I've decided I've decided that I want to primarily put this money towards two goals um, my car replacement fund uh, it's like car maintenance slash replacement so I have a I will hopefully by year end have about a thousand dollars in there and that's great for like an unexpected repair but I'd love to be building that up more um, even though my car, which is a 97 um, Subaru Legacy Outback, which is the best car, it's the best, I really hope that it will last me years and years and years. But I'd really like to have that built up so that if something happens to it, I can replace it, right? Then something else I'd like to do this year is to start working on a down payment. Now, $13,000 total is not much of a down payment, and I'm really just thinking I want to allocate about half of that or actually about $5,000. So it's not going to be a down payment at the end of the year, but it's going to be a good start. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm scrolling down and in this particular um, budget, I kind of have all of the savings together. Um, so I have like my emergency fund and interest and all of that. And so I basically just went in here and played with the numbers. So I'm going to go over to this budget. I just played with the numbers until my um, net over here up on top 
was zero across the board. And I just played with the numbers till I got what I wanted over here. So this is the monthly uh, or the yearly total for the category. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. I have almost 5,000 going to car upkeep and replacement and almost 5,000 going to house down payment. Uh, I've got my sort of travel that I know I will be doing, uh, taken care of, some clothing and shoes upgrades, some gifts, um, some health stuff, although I do have a FSA. So hopefully if anything comes up, that would kind of take the brunt of it, but never a bad idea to have a few hundred dollars checked aside for health stuff. And yeah, it looks like that's pretty much it. Um, so that is very rough. I know this wouldn't work for some people and it's like too overkill for other people. But for me, this kind of rough playing with the numbers, just for my brain really works. So let me know down below, what are your big goals for 2020? And do you have a system by which you kind of play with the numbers to figure things out? Um, that's all for tonight. I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, see you later.